quite a while ago, I had the good fortune of going to a studio. Uh, well, better yet, let's back it up. You see, I got a phone call from a friend of mine who's a record producer. And he said, Mitch, we need you in the studio on Friday. You're going to be there for all of maybe an hour. You're going to play for all of maybe five minutes. We're going to pay you $500. Now, if you ask me, boy, did I hold that in my parents' face, I'll tell you. Look at this. I worked for an hour. I got $500. Now, I said, absolutely. See you there on Friday. So Friday comes along. I'm loading my drums into the van. And uh, I get this phone call. It's from Richard. And Richard says, hey, Mitch. Got some bad news for you. And I'm like, oh man, come on, I need the money. I really do need the money. He goes, no, 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 no. He says, we're going to have you at the studio today. It's going to be amazing. But he says, I can't be there because I have another obligation that I have to go and fulfill. So uh, I've talked to the engineer. The engineer was at the screening of this little commercial that we're going to be doing. And uh, he'll be able to talk you through it. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. So I go down to the studio and I'm loading my drums into the studio. And Jim, the engineer, comes up to me and he says, hey, Mitch, don't think we should be doing this today. And I'm like, well, why not? He says, because I, I uh, even though I was at the screening of this thing, he says, I have no idea how to tell you what, what to do. And I'm like, well, uh, that's, that's okay. I've done this kind of thing before. Just uh, give me some direction. Just give me some direction. We'll be okay. And he goes, uh, no. He said, I, I can't give you any direction because I know absolutely nothing about drums. And I said, well, uh, sing, sing a melody to me, maybe. Can you sing the melody? And he goes, uh, no, there is no melody. It's a drum thing. I said, well, uh, I said, you know what? I'm here. We can at least try. So he says to me, okay, sure. All right, you know what? You can't argue with that kind of logic. So we go in, we set up the drums, we get the microphones on them. I sit down and I say, okay, what are we doing? What do you, what do you think we're doing? Is this like, is it reggae? Is it rock? Is it prog rock? Is it, is it you know, a, a country? Is it like, what, what do you think? Jazz? And he looks at me and he goes, Mitch, were you not listening to me? He says, I have absolutely no idea how to tell you what we're going to do. And I said, man, you've got to be able to think of something. And he goes, no, I, I really can't. I said, well, what about a like, movie soundtrack or something? Can you think of a movie soundtrack? And he looks at me and he goes, no, sorry, can't think of anything at all. All of a sudden, light comes on. And he looks at me and he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. He said, I was watching PBS the other night. And it was this documentary. And I'm like, documentary? <laughs> about what? <laughs> and he goes, well, I don't really know what it was about. But he said, in this documentary, there was this portion of the program where there were all these people, they were out on the streets, they were dancing, they had these big costumes on. And I said, well, was it Halloween? And he goes, no, 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 no. And he said, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't Halloween. And I said, well, um, what was it then? He goes, I don't know. He said there were these people, and, uh, and they, 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 it wasn't scary costumes, it was like big flamboyant things, lots of colors and feathers. And He said one of the unique things was is that most of the people out there had a percussion instrument of some sort. So I said, percussion instrument, how, you know, costumes out on the street. It sounds a little like Mardi Gras. He goes, Mardi Gras, that's it! He said, play Mardi Gras! And I, 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 said, I, I said, Mardi Gras, is a, it's a festival. <laughs> and he goes, oh. He says, well, what kind of music do they play? Now, at this point in my career, I, I really had no idea, but I said, well, uh, as far as I know, uh, you know, it comes from Brazil, and, and uh, I, I said, uh, it would be kind of like Latin American y, I think. And I said, uh, did, did it kind of sound like, you know, like boom, 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 like that, you know? And he looks at me and he goes, I don't know. He says, what does that sound like? So I said, okay, I said, did, uh, did, it, did it kind of sound something like this, right? And he looks at me and he goes, uh, I don't know. He said there were these other guys, and as they were walking along, they were dancing, and they were kind of doing this. And I said, well, I said, did that kind of sound like this, right? And he looks at me and he goes, oh. He says, that's cool. He says, can you do that and that thing with your feet at the same time? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, so we started here, right? And then we added this part. So he looks at me and he goes, I like it. He said, there were these other guys walking along, though, and they had this really big drum, but they weren't hitting it anywhere near as much as you're hitting this one. 
And I said, well, in Brazil, I said, they have this thing called the Bayonne, right? And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of replicating it here by doing this, except they do it with an open drum sound, which kind of sounds like this, right? So he looks at me and he goes, oh. he says, can you do that and that other stuff at the same time? I, I said, no. <laughs> he said, well, could you do something that sounds like it? And I said, well, I, I think so. So we started here again, right? Then we added this part. Then we added the big drum. Well, right at that point, he's looking at me, he's got this big smile on his face, he's like, ooh! So he walks over to me and he says, you know, he says, I really like what you're doing, but he said, when you hit the big drum, he said, this drummer disappears. I said, what? He said, play it for me, no feet, just hands, slow. So I said, okay, fine, so we did that. And right when I did that, he stopped me and he said, look, when you hit this drum, he said, this sticks up in the air, he says, that drummer goes away. So I said, well, how's about if I bring him back? He said, that would be nice. So um, as you see the, the whole thing with the Billy's Bounce and learning how to play stuff with my left hand, well, it gave me the strength in my left hand to be able to replace the drummer. So now I could do this, right? So we put all that together, we started here again, right? Then we added this part. Then we added the big drum. And then we brought the drummer back. Well, right then, I look at the guy and he's like, oh, this is cool! And he comes over to me and he grabs my hi-hat and he does this. And, and of course, my natural reaction was like, what are you doing? And he says, instead of closing these tight like this, he said, can you splash them like this? And I said, yeah, sure, I, I can do that. He says, because if you do that, he says, it makes them happy. <laughs> now this is when it began to dawn on me, you see. This guy wasn't looking at the set of drums as a set of drums. He was looking at them as different drummers. He wasn't thinking of one person trying to do this. He was thinking of many drummers doing these things. So um, I said, okay, we'll try that. So we started here again. And we added this part. We added the big drum again. Brought the drummer back. And made it happy. He was, he was right, he was pretty happy. Well, right then, to be honest with you, at that point in my career, that was pretty much the end of my rope. That was about all I could do. My brain at that point was going, Aah! and uh, I say, if this is what we're going to do, can we can we record this now? Because this is uh, I I can't do this for very long. And he goes, yeah, 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 no problem. He says, this is perfect. He says, I just oh, we just, I just want you to do one more thing. And I said, well, no, I I can't do one more thing. And he goes, no, no, no I, you can do one more thing. I said, I don't think I can. And then he looks at me and he goes, but you'll at least try, won't you? <laughs> yeah, all right. So I said, okay, you're right, I gotta try. I said, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to hit a cowbell? You want me to hit a cymbal? Like, what do you want me to do? And he goes, no, 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 no. He says, that's not what it needs. I said, well, what are you, what are you talking about? He says, well, it, it, that's the, it doesn't need a cymbal or a cowbell. I said, well, what do you think it needs then? He goes, uh, I know exactly what it needs. I said, okay, what does it need? And he looks at me and he says, it needs George of the Jungle. And I'm like, excuse me? He says, George of the Jungle. I said, you mean, you know. And he's like, yeah! And I said, look buddy, there's no way on the earth that I can do all of this stuff and that at the same time. And he looks at me and he says, but you'll try, won't you? So I was like, okay.